all right welcome back to my channel today uh, we will do the installation of this 5000 series uh, for the gaming basically this processor is made sp specialized for gaming so we'll see if we're gonna improve the performance if you haven't watched my video please watch the previous upgrade video to 56 100x and the first step uh, of course the same we're gonna upgrade the bios right now uh, get the latest bios to make sure that you your motherboard the, this one specially uh, ab350 uh, we upgraded to the latest one which is 52i that uh, will give us the support to the latest processor and don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on the bell notification all right we are updating the bios right now will take a while and then uh, of course we make the configuration and make sure, making sure that the version is correct uh, and then we have to readjust again after the update the memory configuration make sure it's at 3200 and then we are saving it and then the next thing that we gonna do after this it's benchmarking it with the same game uh, which is a red dead redemption 2 with the highest quality and these are my setting for the benchmark so on the last video i did also the benchmark with similar setting so let's compare it uh before we put a new processor so right now it's running with 5600x so the benchmark will run and we get pretty low so i decided to upgrade the driver because before I think we got something above 90 FPS and this one here this, this setting after I did the upgrade of the driver make sure it's a uh, Falcon instead of direct X and then the benchmark is running all right and then we got 98 and 110 on the second run all right let's go to replace the processor with this 5800 x3d yes let's remove the heatsink get this old one removed and look at that pins they are healthy and not bad please make sure put it on also carefully so nothing get banned in the process of swapping and then we put a little bit paste just a pea size not too much that's about good amount then we put back the heat sink and then it's running and then uh, the, when we turn it on the BIOS will recognize it and then we have to change again the setting of the memory back to 3200 and then I'm gonna save it and restart it and hopefully it will work fingers crossed all right already all right, all right. turn on and then in the same setting and we run the benchmark so we get 112 so only about two FPS gain so let's try it again 111 mm. so I went online to see the data of the processor so in this text spot we'll see that they do the comparison with 5800x 
which is the clock is not much different from 5600X although they have more cores but I think the gaming only using like a single core most of the time so let's see the comparison here so we got 44% on certain game like our serial Corsa and then fortunately the game that we just tested has very little performance impact so it is up to you guys what do you guys think if $100 difference is worth it with this performance game so leave comments and your feedback thank you for watching see you guys later